Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gaming here. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you pair a high end graphics card like the GTX 980 Ti with a mid range CPU like the AMD FX6300. Now, when you're building a gaming PC, most people will tell you that the graphics card is the main and most important part of the PC, and which is which is actually correct because that's what's going to give you the most performance but the problem with that is if you skimp too much on the CPU you'll end up hindering the performance of your high-end graphics card and ultimately you're not getting your money's worth so what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you pair um, the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti with um, a capable Intel i7-3770 and I'm going to pair the same GPU with the AMD FX6300. Now we'll note both graphics, I mean both CPUs will be running at stock as well as the GPU and we can observe just how much of a difference in performance they are between the two CPUs. So I'm going to start off by showing you the settings of both um, systems. So, so I'm going to start off with the AMD FX6300. Um, this one's running at stock. It can boost all the way up to 4.1 gigahertz. Um, the GTX 980 Ti that I'm going to be using with the system is also at stock settings and I'm using drivers 353.38 um, I'm also using 8 gigabytes of DDR3 running at 1600 megahertz so next up is the Intel i7-3770 has a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz but can boost all the way up to 3.9 gigahertz um, I'm using the same GTX 980 Ti which is at stock settings using drivers 353.38 I'm also using 8GB of DDR3 running at 1600MHz so that's pretty much it for the systems now I'm going to start off with the first game and uh, you guys can observe the difference between the two CPUs
and as you can see the FX6300 really really holding back the GTX 980 Ti and this is just an example what can happen if you spend too much on your graphics card and not enough on your CPU so the main thing really you need to understand is you have to find a balance because you may end up spending the extra money you saved on a better graphics card but if there's no balance um, you're not going to get your money's worth because as you can see there's a hundred and sixty five pounds difference between these two CPUs and with that hundred and sixty five pounds sure you're going to put that straight into buying a better graphics card but at the same time if your CPU is not up to the task of uh, dealing with the the speed and power of your your powerful graphics card then you're not going to break even so balance is really what you need to what you need to have so if you're in if you're in a market for say something like for the speed of a GTX 980 or 970 and above I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going anything below an FX 8350 and I wouldn't go below anything than an i5 or you will probably suffer some severe bottlenecking so that's it for me guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.